This week, after announcing the names of the four astronauts to fly in the crewed space mission Gaganyaan, PM Modi also spoke about two upcoming missions of ISRO. India's first space station that is going to be launched by 2035 and the plan to put a human on the moon by 2040. These missions are important successors to Gaganyaan, which is scheduled to launch in 2025. I am Akanksha Mishra and in this video, I'll explain ISRO's upcoming missions and what we know about their launch dates, modules and collaboration opportunities. The Bharatiya Antarik Station BAS, is the official name for the Indian Orbital Space Station, a project that was unveiled in 2019 by the then ISRO chief K. Sivan. It was supposed to be completed by 2030, but the COVID pandemic delayed the timeline to 2035. According to a research paper in the Acceleron Aerospace Journal, the space station is expected to weigh around 20,000 kgs and will orbit 400 kilometers above the Earth's surface. The space station is expected to finish its first module by 2028, said S. Somnath, the current ISRO chief, at an event in December 2023. Modules are sections of a spacecraft which are assembled together to form the entire space station. The ISS, the International Space Station, which is the largest single structure ever to be put in space by humans, has over 40 modules at the moment. As of 2023, there are two operational space stations in orbit right now. One is the International Space Station, which was launched in 2000 and is a collaboration between five space agencies, US, Canada, Europe, Japan and Russia. And the second is the Tiangdong Space Station, a 2021 station launched by China. India Space Station plans to allow astronauts for 15 to 20 day periods and is currently in the conceptualization stage. In a Lok Sabha reply on 7 February, Dr. Jitendra Singh, who is the Minister of State of Science and Technology, said that ISRO is working on deciding the number of modules and the docking ports that the station would have. The Indian Space Station has already received collaboration support from the United States. In November 2023, NASA Administrator Bill Nelson announced during his visit to India that they were willing to collaborate with India on the space station if India wanted it. Additionally, NASA has also committed to sending an Indian astronaut to the International Space Station by the end of 2024. This will be the first Indian to go to space after Rakesh Sharma in 1984. Nelson said that the astronaut will be chosen not by NASA but by ISRO. On 5th January this year, ISRO announced that it tested a fuel cell based power system, FCPS, on its POEM 3 module, which is the same module that was used to launch the ExpoSat on 1st January. This power system is a hydrogen and oxygen based power generator and it effectively has zero emissions. The only byproducts that it produces are water and heat. And ISRO said that this makes it ideal for space missions where humans are involved, such as the Indian Space Station. ISRO's plan to send a man to the moon by 2040 has been reiterated both by PM Modi and the ISRO chairman Somnath. While there have been few updates regarding the details of the program, India did sign the Artemis Accords in 2023 established by NASA in 2020, the Accords are an international agreement to further space exploration and specifically moon landings through international cooperation. The NASA website states that through the Artemis mission, NASA plans to land the first woman, the first person of color and the first international partner astronaut on the moon. ISRO's Chandrayaan-3, which landed on the South Pole in 2023, also contributes to the mission towards sending humans to the moon again. It was the first mission to land on the South Pole of the Moon, a previously unexplored region. This South Pole is said to have water ice or frozen water, which could be an important discovery. And it could also lead to human-led missions there in the future. In fact, NASA's Artemis 3 program, which is scheduled for 2026, already has plans to send the first humans to the Moon's South Pole. There have, as yet, been no announcements about collaborations or locations for India's crewed moon mission in 2040. But ISRO spokesperson Daru Kesha says that ISRO is open to commercial inputs and private sector investment. And preliminary work for the manned moon mission has already begun. The Human Space Flight Centre at ISRO, inaugurated in 2021, is working on the fundamentals of human space flight missions that would help both Gaganyaan and manned moon missions in the future. Its mandate 
includes modifying launch vehicles or what are known as LVMs to human requirements and designing them with crew escape systems or CES. The crew training programs at HSFC also will prove useful for further manned missions, especially the moon mission. This is Akanksha Mishra. For more such news and analysis, follow the print on our social media channels.